All right, we're back and today I think we're going to talk about genetic risk and part of the reason why you were inspired to do this is you discovered there it's in your genetics. Exactly. Uh, you have living relatives right now in their 80s that are dealing with Alzheimer's. Yeah. Um, have you had a family member pass from Alzheimer's? Um, yes, I have a couple of, well, you know, my grandfather passed away at, at uh, 96, he had Alzheimer's and he probably had Alzheimer's for at least four or five years before that. Okay. Before he passed away and that's how he died. Okay. Um, and I remember, you know, he was in India at that time. It was, yeah. I Not known or? You know, yeah, it wasn't, we didn't really understand what that was. I was only 17 years old at that time. And I remember, uh, you know, he went from somebody who was extremely, you know, cerebral, mm -hmm. used to run a school for kids in his, and on his property, like a, like basically a free school for children, he used to run all that was a principal. And then uh, imagine that type of person losing their mind. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean. scary for somebody who's 17. You're just like, the, I don't understand why is this person not talking sense exactly. anymore. Exactly. The movie that really put Alzheimer's on the map, if you don't already know, is The Notebook, right? Did you watch it I or not? It. Oh my God, you have to watch The Notebook. So The Notebook is like the classic love story. And it really uh, walks through the journey of the woman's Alzheimer's journey and we see the impact that happens to the family, the husband, the husband sees her every day, mm -hmm. the kids come, she doesn't recognize the kids at all, to the point where she's now in a home, right? Um, then nothing was talked about in terms of the genetics or the science of it, which is what, I love the fact that we could kind of see what an impact could be like for somebody who's dealing with Alzheimer's, but let's talk about the genetics. Um, yeah. Because you discovered something, and I know people can take tests like 23andMe or whatever, and you sure. also said there's a, a disclosure you can you can Disclaimer, ask. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so tell me more about that. Yeah, let's start, with, let's start with that. So it was maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, 23andMe came out and they had a, uh, a test looking at Alzheimer's and what they're looking at is a very specific gene called the APOE gene. APOE gene. APOE, okay. Which is a type of light, which we call lipoprotein, a type of type of fat. Okay. Type of fat protein that your body makes. And people can have three different versions of this APOE that they're born with. Okay. And you inherit one version from each of your parents. You can so eat. it's a control, like the XY factor, exactly. right? Your sex chromosome. Yeah. So, so this is, this is every, an all Alzheimer's. genes are like that. Like okay. The genes are you inherit one copy from each of your your parents, and this APOE has three different versions. Okay. A two version, a three version, and a four version. Okay. And what they found is that the four version people who in, inherit the four version are at much higher risk of Alzheimer's. If you okay. inherit one copy, you're at about double the risk of Alzheimer's. So, so you mean it could even be absent? Meaning you might not even see this lipoprotein or whatever in your results, so you have zero possibility of Alzheimer's? Uh, no, everyone has the APOE gene. It's just how much do they have it? And they can either have the two version, the three version, or the four version. And the four version is the risk one, the three is neutral, okay. and the two is protective. Okay. So. You always have APOE, it just depends on what type of APOE do you have and what ratio. Do you have a 2-2, two -two, a 2-3, two -three, right. a 3-3, three -three, totally a 3-4, four, or a 4-4. Four -four. Those are all the different Yee. So I, uh, just hearing what you're saying, neutral, neutral is like, it's not like you're in the clear. It's because, not in the clear, right. but you're lower risk right. than somebody who's got a 3-4. Or a 4-4. Four -four. Four -four. So, so what did you have? So I'm going to get there. I'd like to maybe make okay, that into cool, a different cool. episode, but I'd like yeah, to really yeah. just focus on the science here. Yeah. So if you have one allele of four, that puts you at double the risk. Already, automatically. Just double the lifetime okay. risk of getting Alzheimer's. Okay. And 25% of the population has a 3-4. Has a three four, so three being the neutral, neutral one, one, okay, and a high risk allele, uh, uh, right? And the okay. two was the protective. Two is protective. Okay, so so the higher the number, the ooh, the oh, the warning. Okay, don't. Yeah, I'm not sure why yeah. it's two three four. Okay, but just so happens that it's called yeah. the four APO E four, which okay. is the type of risk allele, and you know it's a very common allele. Twenty five percent of the population has the a single allele of four. But okay, 25% already have the single allele. Okay. Yes. So not to panic. No, <laughs> um, no, no that's the, whole, the whole point of this is that even if you have the allele, we're trying to say that there's lots to do and we're going to take you on this journey yeah. of how we're going to be you know, overcoming Alzheimer's and, and, and basically beating Alzheimer's. Yes. So, um, so the thing is, if you have a double four, 
the risk is 10 times. So it's much more risky. And I, I think Chris Hemsworth, who just came out, who's the, you know, the Marvel superhero. Right. Did uh, he say he has a double four? I think he's a double four. So we can double check that. Wow. Out. Okay. But Don't I quote us. But I believe, Don't quote us. I believe, but I believe so. He has a Netflix he was, alar he was alarmed enough that, is he is he on his own mission and journey to figure this yes, out? Yes. He's got a huge okay. thing on this. And, okay. And uh, yeah, he's got, a, I think just a podcast came out. Okay. With uh, Peter Tia on this. But anyways, um, so I think the, so about 10 years ago, this was the gene that everybody was looking. And at 23 and me, I remember clearly that you had to sign a little, click a little box saying, if I find out the result of this, it's, I'm, I'm prepared to accept it and I'm not gonna like. Try to manipulate it. 